Engel should be the one laying there, not your brother. Pete, if you're sure about this... Don't worry. I've got this. They... they had some supplies just sitting out and... Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but... she... she, she let me go. Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. I'm not looking forward to that. Water's gonna be an ice bowl. No one wants to see that, Oak. Yeah, I know. Oh, freezing my ass off. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. One. <coughs> God damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Uh, you sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mole they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit, isn't it? They're growing on me too. Kinda nice that people can still joke around. It's a fine line between the court jester and the village idiot. You can guess which side I think he's on. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed her trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. I would have gone in alone. If I had another chance, I wouldn't have gone in at all. 
After my brother, a few weeks later, I came across Pete, a ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions, didn't turn me away, just welcomed me in. Pete's a good goddamn egg in a rotten world. I don't always get Pete, but some black people like him still exist. I'll drink to that. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Besides, none of us can remember the rules. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. Are you sure you want to do this? I need to see him. I need to see that bastard's face. <laughs> God, he's dead. How could you? If he's dead, so are we. He got what he deserved. Norma's not gonna care why you did it. I wanted this, I, I did, but seeing him now, I wish I'd been to do it. Sam. It was my dad, my family. I should have killed Randall myself. I didn't do it for you. I wanted to kill him. Well, as long as you got what you wanted, right? Uh! Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I didn't mean he ruined everything. He killed... No, I know. You don't know. Wait. You hear that? Michonne, it's Pete. Please pick up. Something's happened. I don't have much time. Pete, where are you? Did you get away from Norma? No, it's not that. There's something you have to know. Norma and her people. They, they have the crew. Sadiq, Oak, and Berto. Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? don't owe us anything. I just want to keep them safe. I understand. That's what I like to hear. We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us. Riding love, put a gun in my hand. Riding love, put a gun in my hand. Riding love, put a gun in my hand. In my bed, in my head, in my hand. Was it for redemption? Was it for a battle? Was it 
She's coming here for her brother. When she sees what we did to him. At least he can walk, right? If you can call that walking. Norma wants her brother. This better work. It will, I think. Even if it does work, then what? Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Even if he was alive, we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. She knows where we are now. Hiding isn't an option. Where do you propose we go? I don't know. Does it matter? Anywhere would be better than here. I can't fucking listen to this. What? Sam, where are you going? Sam! He's not going anywhere. Sam, stop. You're going to hurt yourself. God damn it. Sam, stop. Maybe you're all ready to walk away, but I'm not just going to leave him like this. We couldn't give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. That's all I can give him. There will be time to bury him later. Right now, we need to focus on Norma. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking My that... mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg. If you want to leave, go ahead, but I'm not coming with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I'm not just going to abandon it. I won't force you to leave. If you want to stay, that's up to you. You don't have to leave either. We can defend this house. We can fight them off. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. I know it's stupid, but I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. Yeah. I was, I was just... wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. Just... And? How does it feel? It's, it's heavy.
Empty. Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. How did they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? Everyone gets scared sometimes. I'm not afraid. The guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta, I mean, the things he said, the way he was laughing about dad. Randall is dead, James. I killed him. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If, if she, they can't hurt her too. You have to stop them. Your sister will be with me. I'll make sure she's safe. Beer. I, I don't know if I'm ready, you know, to have one. Take this to your sister. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. She didn't always come to this. Is that music? Can I come in? I like that. It's pretty. My dad gave it to me, so I wouldn't have to hear the things out there. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Was this your dad's idea? Yeah. My dad makes sure I'm always safe. So nothing can happen to me. Ever. Especially not those... things. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. Getting scared is normal. Really? Happens to everyone sometimes. But my dad's not scared of them. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Where's my dad? He can't come right now. I want to wait here for my dad. Alex. I want my dad. I just... 
want my dad. I want Greg back. I want everything to go back to the way it was. <laughs> Daddy. I know, I know, but it just doesn't work that way. We can't change what happened to Greg. When Greg, when he, did he become one of them? It, it, it's what happens, right? No, your brother didn't become one of them. Greg is still Greg. Is that what's going to happen to me? Am I going to die and change into one too? <laughs> no. I'm going to protect you. Nothing out there will hurt you. Thanks. Two and three checked in. Coming up on the road now. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. Thanks for letting me see your fortress. Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Here. John, take care of our children and take care of yourself. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't help or explain anything, but it's true. I can't stand watching you and the kids suffer, knowing what's going to happen to me and what I'll become. Better to spare you that pain. I love you more than anything, Sophie. Michonne, I'm uh, looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. He should be there for this. He's hiding in his closet. Thanks. I'll go get him. I'll meet you outside.
Sam? You okay? Greg and Dad? I just... I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? I don't know. Maybe you don't need to say anything. It's okay to just be here together. I'll give you a moment. You're all right. You look a little... Well, like you're losing it a little bit. Just remembering my kids. Did they... You know... I don't know. I wasn't with them. I don't know what happened to my family either. I thought about joining them, but it felt weird. I mean, I live here, but I'm still not family, you know? They treat me like I am, but I know that's not true. Family is different. These days, families aren't the people you're born to. It's the people you stay with, the people who care about you. Pete's crew, they're a family. I guess that's true. It's gonna be tough leaving this place. I just wish Sam would go too. I'll protect you. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. I'll cover you. If I can. I hope it doesn't come to that. Are you sure? Not really. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that. Paige, please. Sam, you know I'll... Grab Randall and meet us outside. out there. You ready for this? Getting your crew back? It's not gonna be easy. This isn't gonna stay peaceful for long. Be ready to fight when I tell you. You got it. going on I had my people hang back a bit I wanted to talk first just us clear the air a little just hear her out Michonne okay start talking hey that is what I'm doing I didn't come here to fight
See? I can be reasonable. Thought you can get rid of me, huh? Are you okay? Did she hurt you? I'm fine. Let's just get our crew back and get out of here. Listen, Monroe is gone. Sunk down in the water like everything I built. You and I, we've each taken from the other. All I want now is my brother back. And he better be okay like you said. That's all. And I'll leave you be. He's right here. <laughs> Randall, you okay? <sighs> Just hang on. I got gotcha. you. One good turn. Any minute now. Safe and sound, just like I said. Now, give me Randall, and we can go our separate ways. You can't let her walk away. We're all homeless because of her. Caddy, it wasn't her fault. That's enough. Now be quiet. Michonne, please. I just want my brother. Let's be done with this. Deal? I want Pete's crew first. Then I'll give you Randall. Careful you don't take advantage now. Release that one. It's okay. We just need this to be over. Let him go, Gabby. I'm glad you're safe, man. I made good on my end. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Give me Randall. <gasps> Oak! Hey, put the gun down. I could shoot him and still have one more to spare. So you're gonna do what I've asked. Now! I came here willing to talk. But if you're gonna insist on being difficult... Don't... You're not gonna shoot him. You may have more of my guys, but this piece of shit over here is all you've got. And there's still plenty I can do to hurt him. Randall isn't worth all this shit. Gabby, listen to After me. After everything they've done, you're still giving them more chances. We deserve retribution. Don't do this! Stop! No! No! <laughs> Virgil! Everyone put your guns uh, down. I knew we couldn't trust them. Don't! Stand down! Please, don't hurt him. If you're not gonna do anything, we have to. That's not your call. We have to even things up somehow. I can make this red. <laughs> Gabby! Fuck! <clears throat> I'll give you that one, all right? We're even. As long as you let Randall go. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask you again. No one else has to die. Is that a threat? I want Oak on his way over. He starts walking, and I'll send Randall out. Maybe you didn't hear me. Ah! Oak! Ah! Please, get up. Randall! Kill him! Get to the house! Now! Get 
firing. They're surrounding the house. We have to get out of here. Where are the boys? Upstairs. Alex, James, hurry up.
I wish I could stay, but I can't. Why? It's complicated. My job. Say goodbye, girls. Your mother has to leave. Please, Mama. Stay here with us. She can't. Just let her go. Dominic, please. Just let me say goodbye. Come on, Alex. What are you doing? <coughs> no. Girls, enough. Let her leave if that's what she wants. Michelle! No, no, no. Don't go. Colette. She can't stay. We can't stay here! Girls, listen to me. I have to go. I just have to go. Michelle!
Sadiq's gonna take a boat down to what's left of Monroe. Salvage what we can. We can drop you off in Oceanside or maybe one of the other communities up north. Good people. Thanks. And thank you for everything. I don't know if we would have made it out of there without you. You found my brothers. You took care of Norma. We owe you a lot. You didn't need me, Sam. You would have figured it out on your own. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's true, but thanks for saying so. harder out there without old Gilberto. <laughs> I need to lean on you a bit more. It's not gonna be the same without them. I'm gonna miss them too. I know this has been hard on you in more ways than one. When we got separated, I heard you calling for your daughters. What, what happened in there? I tried to find you. But I couldn't. I had to get everyone out and... I could just hear you screaming. I saw my daughters. I got to talk to them. That, that's not possible, right? For them to be there. I know. Maybe you'd better start thinking about... You know... What if this doesn't go away? Maybe it won't. But this time, when I saw them, I was able to walk away. Couldn't keep living in that moment with them anymore. I think it's time to stop running. Go back to your group, the people you left, your family, before you can't anymore. If I know anything, it's how goddamn impermanent things are these days. Before you know it, they'll be gone. You're right. It's time to go back. Come on. Your love drags me down Like the clothes when you swim Down, deeper down Like the roots of old trees My heart has no home You bruised me to the bone Just fine, your bruise will fade, and your bones didn't break. Ah, oh, my little one, it'll be just fine. Your bruise will fade, and.
and your bones didn't break but your love drags me down like the clothes when you swim down deeper down like the roots of old trees I shiver cause I'm cold but you don't wanna know